Hi everybody, it's Mr. Sova here and I'm going to show you how you can block websites from your child's SFUSD Chromebook. Now if you got the Chromebook from the school district, uh, any site with adult content gets automatically blocked, but there are still other websites that can be distracting for your child, such as YouTube or Facebook. So if that is becoming an issue for your child, um, you can uh, install what's called an extension and that will prevent your child from getting to those websites. Um, and if your child does need to use a website like YouTube for an assignment, I'm also going to show you how you can temporarily unblock it so they can get access to it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your child's Chromebook and open up the Chrome browser. In the search bar, you're going to type Chrome Store, just like I did right here. The first result will be Chrome Web Store. You're going to click on that, and that'll take you to the Chrome Web Store. In the search box, you want to type Block Sites, and you can also click this box, Free. And the first one that pops up is a very reliable site called Block Site. It only allows you to block up to six websites. If you want to block more than that, you'll have to pay for it. But if you only want to block up to six, it's free. So you're going to click on that. You're going to click on Add to Chrome. Click Add Extension. And it should take you to this site. You're going to accept. And then you're not going to choose a plan unless you want to. You're going to skip this. And then it'll take you to the main block site website. So I want to block YouTube for my, for my child. Click on the addition symbol and YouTube is blocked. Now here's the thing. If your child goes to YouTube, It'll say that it's blocked, but they can easily unblock it. So in order to make it so they can't unblock it, you're going to want to create a password. So you're going to go up to here to password protection, and you're going to click on these three boxes. You can click on the fourth one. It's not necessary, but go ahead and read through those, and you can uh, decide whether or not you want to block that other one. You're going to set up an account with your email and then you're going to create a password and then you're going to save it. So now what you're going to want what you need to do is you need to open up your email on the same browser in the same browser window. So I have one opened up here. This is my email and here's the email from Blocksite. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to verify that I do want block site. And the email verification is done. Okay, and then it takes me back to the block site page. So just to show you how it works, I'm going to go ahead and type in YouTube. Whoa, maybe not. There we go. And nice try. I can't get in because it's blocked. So in order to give your child access to it, if they need to watch YouTube, you can type in that password that you created and it will open it up. And then after they, after your child is done watching whatever they need to watch on YouTube, you can uh, close it and then YouTube automatically gets re-blocked. So if I open up a new window and type in YouTube again, it gets re-blocked and then you put in your password again to unblock it. Um, you can put in as many uh, uh, web pages as you want to block, but again, oh, well, not as many, as many as you want, up to six. 
Um, and then again, if you want to upgrade, uh, you can put in a lot more than that, but we're not going to upgrade. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me and thanks for watching.